thumbs up for Black Ops because I love this game. And sometimes I hate it. It's like a girl. Sometimes you love her. Sometimes you, you want to stab her in the face. That was just me? Okay. And that wasn't sexual, so don't be a pervert. You guys are weird. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Or maybe it's just all me. I don't know. And I haven't done a commentary in a while, so you can welcome me back, pat on the back, you know. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do one. I just reduced my hours with my boss, so I got more time. We're going to play together. You're going to get on tonight, and we're going to play. That's my clap of approval. Let's go. And I love playing TDM and Domination. Domination is fun because you get your ass beat and still win. <laughs> That's how I've been learning how to snipe, and I'll be uploading a video of just clips of me sniping, killing people. I think they have the most kills on my team, and it'd be like 15 and 10 with just a sniper rifle. It's really good. And me and my friend were sniping, and me and him were both noobs with the sniper rifle, even on Modern War Warfare 2. So imagine how much we suck. And he, me and him did pretty good. He kind of laid back, and I don't know. He tactically inserted himself in a building. <coughs> and I rushed around like an idiot, knowing that, well, damn well, I was going to die a lot. I did pretty good. I was actually really shocked. And he was too, because we were getting kills. And I think it's just so rewarding to get a kill with a sniper rifle. It's so easy to get kills with the ak 34 u and all these other weapons. But the sniper rifle, you know how much it's patched. And if you can snipe with it, you are good, my friend. But if you're just hiding in a corner and sniping, I'm sorry, but you're not that good, my friend. And you're not my friend, okay? No, I'm just saying, we'll patch things up later when you stop being a bitch and stop camping. But you know, everyone knows how it feels about camping. I was playing with some DGN subscribers, and they said, what? What's wrong with it? What's so wrong with um, um, camping? So we went played against these really good campers, and we got our asses kicked. I said, that's what's wrong with camping. And they're like, and they didn't say nothing. I was like, yeah, what well, now, bitch? We had to get our asses beat to prove my point. That's what we had to do. And I just don't get camping. It's not fun. What's fun? Like, seriously. Rushing is so fun. How the fuck do you sit somewhere in the spot for a whole game? But anyways, I'm not going to sit here and bash the campers. They bash themselves. And like some other people said, it's like real life. But I can see her like camping and, and rushing. I compare it to cars. Like, I'm a fast... Like, I drive my car really fast, so I rush really fast in the game. And those those assholes that drive all fucking slow, you have to drive around them. Like, I hate when people have RC cars and, they, and they, they put them on right between the door so you're stuck and then you both get killed. I just hate getting killed because of my teammate getting in my way. Like, I'll be going to path and I go a different way and get shot because the other guy was hogging over there. He's like, drawing attention. I'm not scared of dying, but it reduces my chances of getting a good gameplay. Like this one. Like, some of these deaths I could have stopped, but I don't know. I just wanted to kill them for talking shit to me. And, um, I don't know, I'm trying to get the DGN name out there. I don't know, we're not a clan yet, but we will be if we get some more players. But we're not a serious clan at all. We're a clan that has fun. Me and, uh, Raul, who's the co-owner of DGN, we like to have fun. We play for fun. We do not play for seriously. We might want to get kills, but we don't cry. You know what I mean? We don't break our controllers. We just have fun. And, excuse me while you got me warm. Okay. Yeah, I like gummy worms. So what? You got a problem with gummy worms? Let's go one on one right now. Tomahawk only and a sniper rifle. Let's go. <laughs> so sorry about that. Oopsie. So I've been reading lots. I've been watching reading. Fuck. I've been watching lots of people's commentaries and watching reading. God damn it. And I've been wanting to live stream, but I want to live stream like Red Dead Redemption and Star Wars. So pick a good day and I'll live stream. Like Monday through Thursday. I might have these days off. I might do it today. Who knows? I don't know. But if you want to live stream Star Wars instead of actually doing a video, I'll try to beat the entire game. But I'm not going to... But if you want me to play Black Ops, I can do that easier because I'm pretty good at Black Ops. <coughs> you know, if I say so myself, pat myself on the back. That's my back. If you didn't know, it's not my ass. You weirdos. And you can see I use lots of um, sexual references because I'm a pervert. And I'm a proud pervert, so you will have to accept it. That doesn't mean I'm a googling women, good, women's goodies all the time. It just means I like to make sexual references and I tell lots of perverted jokes because I find them funny. And I'm the, my inner pervert comes out when I'm having fun. And that's the best way to have fun is being a pervert. You know what I mean? Sex, you know? High five? Black ops? I don't know. <sighs> so this commentary is pretty random. I'm not watching the gun. I'm not watching the gameplay because, I don't know. I don't want it to be about the gameplay. I just want to, like, I don't know. 
you get a chance to hear from me for and like just this is me being myself and I'm trying to be anybody else and know what I want to be because I'm pretty awesome in my opinion. I just like who I am as a person, like really opinionated asshole. But I'm also a nice guy, so it's like it confuses. I confuse people. And I would say that's pretty insane, but my insanity draws in a lot of friends and people. But it also is the reason why it pushes people away, and they're like, "Well, not they, like women are really silly." They, I meet women like you know, not a lot of professional, not a pimp. I mean, but I meet a girl and we like each other, and she likes she likes she doesn't like who I am. She likes who I might be able to be, and she tries to change me to that. And she doesn't. She's disappointed when I don't change. Or would I change for the better for me, not for her? Like, I don't like selfish people like that. You, you accept for someone for who they are and what they do. You do not try to change them. That's the thing with gamers. Like, if I will not date a girl that tells me to get rid of my Xbox, I've already been down that road. I got rid of my, um, let me see what time. Of, I think it was my PS2. I sold it because I had a girl and I, I loved her at the time. So I gave up video games for her. But I wasn't playing online or anything. It was PS2. Come on. I didn't even know what the fuck online was. I know you could get online, but I didn't know what that fucking meant at all. <clears throat> I thought you could just play with your friends. I didn't know you could play against randoms. But anyways, I do not approve of you dating people that don't approve of what you do for fun. Like, You need to find someone that has a similar interest or, interest or accepts your interest. Like, if I have, I'm trying to play video games, but you have to understand, if you're in a relationship, you have to give most of that time to your to the relationship and you have to sacrifice some hours of gameplay like I sacrificed hours for money for Christmas so I had to sacrifice a lot of black op time and it sucks but now that Christmas is almost over I asked to reduce my hours I did, I did the hours for my boss as a favor so he'd get me back to these hours eventually I, I hoped but he tried to get, keep me at like, all these dumb hours I was like I'm not going to do these dumb hours no more suck it <clears throat> But anyways, so I've been in that situation before where your girlfriend doesn't like you gaming. I should have to tell her to go suck a dick, but I wanted her to suck my dick. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I'm just playing around. That's just me messing around. But anyways, I don't know. I hear that all the time. And, and the thing about gamer girls is there's a lot of them. And it's easy to like, like them because just because they have the similar interests, but you can't judge someone just because they play video games you can't be like whoa she's pretty and she plays video games i gotta marry her there's way more there's way more into it i guess if you're just into that one night stand thing you bang her and then you play video games with her that sounds fun but if you're like trying to get a real relationship and have one with a gamer girl don't just do it because she plays video games you need to have like similar interests or an attraction and all kinds of other shit so you can do a video talking about yourself but I hear about it all the time. I'm not going to say names or anything, but I hear people complaining about it. And I've actually given people good advice, and they said, I'm like Dr. Phil with the advice. That doesn't mean come to me with your problems, because I have my own problems. Like, if I didn't have problems, I wouldn't have a, I'd have a girlfriend right now. And my girlfriend right now, she accepts that I play video games. Even when we were together, well, I'm quoting together, but we were close together. I wouldn't say we were actually a couple, but whatever. <clears throat> And she accepted that I play video games, and she didn't really have a problem with it. She played games too. Well, not like the same kind. She played on MySpace. But anyways, just what you have to find. You have to find someone that accepts you for you, and that appreciates you, and isn't trying to change you. I mean, like, if they're trying to change you for a good way, like, work out, and feel better about yourself, so you, and you're like, they're like, if they take an interest in your life, then that's great. If they want to actually try to learn how to play the video game, don't they get discouraged if they suck. Come on, we all suck when we first started playing games. And that's my advice about relationships. Well, that's some of it. I'll talk more about relationships in another video. I know the commentary wasn't that funny. It might have started off like, whoa, this commentary is going to be awesome. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. And then later on, it turned into something like advice. And you want tips on Black Ops. I make a video about whatever you... Like, all I do is rushing, so I can't really give you any advice about camping. Like, where to put claymores? I don't know. Think of hot spots. Go. That's all I can think of, really. I don't really. I use claymores, but I just place them down and keep going. And it's funny because I've been getting lots of double kills with them. And it's really funny how pe two people can go camp in the same spot, and it's really sad. How you get so many double kills you can get just because of that aspect. But anyways, I'm out of here. Uh, we got count cotton mouth because I just woke up. I know you, right? You wouldn't want to kiss me. I wouldn't want to kiss you either. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here later. Yeah.